Today on the microgrid, in the morning, about eight o'clock, we have a growth fractal bottom to swing up. It broke the top here and it continued to go up. The particular fractal here is a copy fractal from the 30 minute chart. Okay, so we can expect uh, a swing up. How far will we go up? We don't know until we find another fractal discovery. Okay, we're mapping the turns in a market. Now, looking at the microgrid, we have a potential slider forming here on a three hour chart. Okay, uh, that would be a decaying fractal, a top approaching. And on the four hour chart, we have a typical decaying fractal here, meaning we may have a top protein. So we have to wait uh, beyond the opening. We have too many spikes, thanks to enter. But right now, you would want to focus on the four hour developing decaying fractal and also on the three hour fractal. Uh, we have a slider here, uh, probably a little bit higher. That would be uh, a good entry point if the fractal here begins to uh, fall. Then that would be a completed uh, decay fractal for a top. Then you can enter uh, for a trade. But again, uh, during the open, uh, too many spikes are happening. Be best to wait until about ten thirty. But uh, Again, uh, a typical fractal bottom here uh, matches the uh, fractal bottom here, and the uh, trend is up. So the key is to find the common growth fractals and decaying fractals. Okay, you can find them in our library or on, on Neil's channel, and then you can uh, do a setup. You find your risk on a trade. Okay, you know when to get out when. Uh, when you stay in, uh, you know how to place your stops. Uh, I would think the four hour uh, fractal, again, we're looking at an art form here, and we have to wait until we get a clear picture. We're looking at pictures here, nothing else. Okay. And the five minute fractal um, still hovering here. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Nothing else is developing here. Uh, Hank Wernicke signing off.